graphene uh, is potentially a revolutionary material. It's a atom thick layer of carbon atoms which is arranged in sheets. Now one of the problems or potential problems with graphene is that even though you might end up using it in a screen on a computer or purifying water with it, there are questions over how industrially you might actually deliver these materials into devices that would be usable. One of the biggest challenges related to the use of graphene-based dispersion and other two-dimensional based dispersion is related with the quality of the material. Uh, so the community uh, believes that the quality is not too high and therefore this type of material is not suitable for electronics. The idea is to use millions and millions of tiny graphene flakes which are dispersed in a liquid, so in a solvent, and in our case is water. And uh, the idea is to have different inks and because these inks have different properties, you can actually use them to fabricate a device. A device is usually a layered structure, so it's composed by many layers, one on top of the other, and uh, every layer has, a, has different properties. So we wanted to build a device by printing the material layer by layer, one on top of each other, which at the end will give you a functional device, which can be a sensor, it can be a transistor, or any other type that, of device, depending on the sequence of colors that you decided to, to print. So there's a lot of chemistry involved here because we have to understand how you dissolve the sheets of carbon and then how you print them out properly without the printer clogging or the thing degrading after a while because it didn't print onto the surface properly. The inks were already available, uh, but the traditional inks were based on toxic solvents, expensive solvents, and what we did here in Manchester was to basically work with water, so the solvent here, this ink, is based on water. Manchester is the home of graphene. There's a lot of investment gone in from the UK government and the university to support this kind of research. And we've got world-class, state-of-the-art facilities in the building behind me. But it's much more than that. You need colleagues who really know what they're doing and who are real top draw scientists. And we've got that magic blend of both here at Manchester. Thank you.